Okay, so. It's time to show you guys my garden shed. It is gorgeous. And it's actually the same as our storage shed, which is right there. This is my garden shed. And it is just beautiful and so useful, as you can see. Let's see, let's open this up. Show you guys inside. We did put, my fingers don't work that well, so nerve damage. So I have to deal. But look at that. We have a system where we can attach them to the sides here. And of course I put a can in the way. But I'm trying to do this with one hand. I have these two cans and I have um, soil in one and mulch in the other. And this is pretty much it. Look how awesome that is. I mean, there's a place for everything. Even my lock when I open it. Pretty much it's meant not necessarily to pot in here, because, but I can do some potting work in here if I want to. I'll take this bin out and I have this cute little potting bench that I ordered. I think I ordered it on walmart.com a long time ago. And it's kind of dainty and I'm a heavy duty gardener so it's pretty much for just storage use that I use it and um, it's got you know a little pull out drawer for your essentials which I love I have my jars for the hydroponics down there and I built some self-made hanging situations here but I have tons of pots I have all my like perlite and uh, mosquito bits and vitamin and moss and more pots up there. My seed box there, just my hats, just everything is at my fingertips and I just love it. This is, this is what you need to do if you are a gardener. I did not know the value of, well I did know, but it was just not feasible to make something like this in the past um i had several little areas where i had tons of stuff and i had to go hunting when i needed something and now everything is in one spot so this is just the best when you can allocate one designated area and we have some of our tools here the shovels and you know um just the cutting tools and planting stuff and um plant food and yeah so super useful now at a moment's notice i can start gardening and look i have my trays here i have a sun sail shade i have some um a little the one i can't remember what those pallets are called um they're hydroponic pallets and growing pallets and just it's just great and again all the space here even hanging um stuff here at the top for these baskets these are like all weatherproof baskets and I use them to just like weed or when I'm planting outside and I love these baskets they are so useful they are gorgeous and they last a long time so they're something that's a great tool to have and yeah I just like I said now I have a place for every single thing and I just love it because that's what it's about um, just finding your stuff when you're gardening and now at a moment's notice like I said I can go ahead and tend to my garden which is just waiting there I have tons of pots and and stuff to condense and replant before it gets hot so I'm gonna be doing that I mean as you see I have these these bins that I buy at Lowe's and they're just for mixing concrete and I love them for gardening they're heavy-duty and super useful. I have three of those, which I use a lot. And here I still have to do a bunch of de-weeding here. And my plants are starting to die because it's starting to get hot. My nasturtiums and borage and 
but again all this area here i'm going to have to uproot everything because of the the weeds the water flow that's coming in from the other side and just condense everything to that area over there and i did go ahead and put um, the shade cloth on the on the arbor it had just the clear panels and i put the shade cloth and that is great it's it's holding up well and again i wanted to show you my bed i did go ahead and paint this since i had the paint out i went ahead and painted um this bed and it's doing beautifully look at this the sedum uh purpled up again gorgeous and i wanted to tell you give you an update on this lilliput um portulacaria it has become my favorite it is you know very compact it stays green and beautiful and um, the other one the regular portulacaria which is this one over here is um i love it too and this one's barely coming out as you can see i cut it like down to the bare stem and it's starting to give off the new growth because it goes very wild if you have it in the ground it will go crazy if you have it in a pod it's a little bit more controlled but yeah it's just a matter of managing it i really love it as you can see over there i don't know if you can see my um my beautiful beautiful hydrangea it's giving me all kinds of joy up there and yeah i hope that you guys um, have an opportunity either to buy one of these or make it again this one is custom but they do sell very cute options they're very expensive though like at lowe's or home depot that you can kind of reimagine and remake and just add the shelving and the hooks and everything to make your space functional and useful all right guys thank you so much for watching um, have a great day i will catch you guys in the next video and welcome to all the new subscribers so if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button hit the thumbs up and i will talk to you later